What's up guys, I'm Dr. Donald Mole. I am a co-founder of Kinetic Impact and today I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about osteoporosis, um, cover the kind of the importance of why I want to learn about it, some of the myths and misconceptions about osteoporosis, and then finally give you guys some things that you can do to make sure and possibly even reverse osteoporosis and osteopenia. Um, so I, I think this is very important because the, the prevalence is quite high as we age. It's very common, especially for females, to experience um, being diagnosed with osteoporosis or osteopenia. And I think it's important to talk about because so many people um, deal with it and are afraid of it, right? And the risk really is um, uh, fractures because of falls. And we hear about our loved ones, maybe our grandparents in the past, falling, breaking a hip, and everything going south from there, right? Because once we stop moving as we age, things get a little hairy and scary, and uh, health declines very rapidly. So I think this is very important that we talk about this. Um, and, and the fact of the matter is, the risk of fall uh, has gone up dramatically in the past decades. So I think it is very important to understand how we can mitigate these risks. And um, uh, first, I want to uh, dispel a couple of myths about osteoporosis. First of all, um, when we hear osteoporosis, uh, oftentimes we're told that it's irreversible and all we can do is slow down the changes. Um, and uh, the good news here is that's not necessarily true. Um, We've looked at studies of individuals that have been diagnosed with osteoporosis and osteopenia and um, regular resistance, heavy resistance training, along with plyometrics or jumping um, um, on a regular basis has actually shown to possibly reverse um, osteoporosis and osteopenia. Um, there's some nuances here, uh, for example, making sure that uh, diet and nutrition. There's enough fuel for those 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 bo bones to build, uh, particularly carbohydrates, but also protein for the muscle um, as well. So um, there are nuances there, but the positive thing is it is reversible, right? It we can manage this with really smart exercise training. Um, and another misconception I think that is very important is that we are super fragile when we have been diagnosed with this and we need to stay away from high impact stuff. Um, this, is, this advice actually is harmful right? because we need that high impact um, for those who are willing, able, and encouraged enough to do so. We need that high impact and that high impact actually staves off osteoporosis and can reverse it in scenarios, right? So I think it's very important to understand that no, you do not need to avoid high impact. You need to find the impact that is right for you. And um, resistance training will also help um, these things. They, will, they shouldn't harm you as long as you find the right starting point. And, and two, it is treatable and it is reversible with proper diet and exercise, right? Um, so now uh, I, I wanna show you uh, some different ways that you can start implementing this. Um, I think it's important um, to have this smart training in our toolbox um, because what we do know is bone responds to high impact forces, um, forces where the muscle pulls against the bone really hard. That pull against the bone sends a message um, to our body to, hey, we need to make our bones stronger, right? And it is that stressor, it is that stimulus that is important to build muscle, right? Again, in the presence of the right nutrition, right? But um, I want to show you guys a, a simple routine, right, that uh, can help get you started and over time build enough consistency. Because what we do know is this that we can do this on a regular basis and we can dose it out at, in a way that makes really um, uh, uh, scientific sense, right? So we know that the bone, like I said, responds to high forces and high contraction against the bone, pulling against the bone, 
right? So we're going to use jumps, right? Because what that, um, what that does is it peaks the forces really high and it pulls against the bone really hard, what we need for the stimulus. Um, secondly, we do know that bones um, respond to about 40 cycles before they start dampening to that response, meaning um, running is great because it's, it's jumping from one leg to another, right? But after 40 cycles, the bone kind of dampens to that response. That's really a run halfway up the block is 40 cycles, 40 repetitions, right? So we're going to be a little bit more um, precise here with our, our dosage, and we'll get to that at the end. But that's the purpose right, of our dosage, right, is bone responds the most to the first 40 repetitions. Right? And secondly, the second most important thing about the dosage is there is four to six hours of that dampening and then we could train it again, right? So we can do it multiple times in a day. If you want to get the most bang for your buck, you're going to do a morning and an evening, okay? So the first thing I want to do is show you an exercise, show you the exercise, and then show you what the progression is going to look like. And then we're going to talk about how we're going to program that into your daily routine, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is going to be 30 seconds of pogo hops, right? What that is, I'll show you first what that exercise is. It's just up and down like we're jumping rope, right? Typically very safe, but what I want you to do is I want you to find a handrail or a wall to put your hands on so you don't have to worry about balance and you get a little bit of assistance. And then you'll go two hands on the railing, right? And we'll pretend like the railing's right here for the video purposes. You can hold on to that railing or counter and then... 30 seconds of hops, okay? That 30 seconds will be right around that 40 repetitions. You're gonna do this once in the morning, once in the evening, right? Okay, and to progress this, we're gonna go hands off, right? And then to progress it further, you would just increase the intensity as you get used to it. I would do this um, routine for a good four weeks to allow the body to um, adapt and get used to the jumping, right? Again, start hands-on. When you gain the confidence, you can go hands-off, right? Okay, and then once, once you have done that, right, you can then start to step off of a step and land. Now what we're doing is increasing the height, right, of, of the impact, which increases the forces, right? So you can do 30 seconds of pogos and then stepping off from a single step. So you could use a step at home, just like a staircase or whatever step you have. If you have one of these, this, this works fine too, okay? And all you're going to do is take a step off, land nice and stable, right? Hit the landing. Walk back up to the stair, and boom, hit the landing. And we're going to do 10 of those, right, for the next four weeks, right? And you're going to do this morning and evening, right? And um, this right here, that's another four weeks. So you have the pogos, and you have the, the landings, right? And then finally, if you get really comfortable and confident with that, then you can add a land to jump land and that's it right keeping that again at 10 right because of their very high intensity thank you guys so much for tuning in about this episode on osteoporosis the myths about it and some of the routines you can do i am extremely grateful for your time and this means the world to us to be able to educate and hopefully help people be more active and confident in their body so if you like this, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, we want to share with as many people as possible. Um, and, and you guys are family. We want to make sure we raise the standards for you guys and spread the word of good evidence-based practice and encourage people to be healthy for as long as they can.
Um, so please like, subscribe, share with a friend. If you have any suggestions for us, any topics you'd like for us to cover, we're more than happy to do so. So please message us. Our, our email is info at kirehab.com. Again, that's info at kirehab.com. And again, please like, sh subscribe, share, comment, all the things. And we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.